Hi, Dr. Kevin Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Welcome to our video series for parents and students. Please remember that these videos are not intended to replace visits to your regular physician. If we can be of any assistance here in this office, give us a call at 775-359-7111. Uh, if you'd like to set up a rotation with us, give us a call at that same number. Please remember we can't really provide uh, patient care over the telephone or over the internet. That's not good medical care. Today what we want to talk about are foreskin adhesions of the penis. This is a very common event and something that uh, causes a lot of distress for parents. Good news is it's generally not a real big deal for the patient. So let me draw you a picture of what we're often seeing. So this is a uh, uncircumcised penis, and well, that was not very good. Let's try that again. And then a circumcised penis will look something like this, just depending on how big the foreskin is, or how long that foreskin is. And no, I'm not going to take the time to shade this all in just perfectly. Okay, and then what happens is that bands of scar tissue can form right in here. And then what will happen is that will trap dead skin cells underneath these bands of foreskin or of uh, scar tissue that foreskin or that that accumulation of dead skin cells is called smegma and it builds up and can then kind of cause things to bulge out what you wind up seeing in the case of a circumcised male and this is what creates that source of distress for parents is this if it becomes a circumferential band. And so what was kind of a mushroom-shaped tip to the penis now becomes pencil-shaped. And then at the site of these adhesions, the smegma builds up. And that can cause some redness and some irritation as these adhesions break up. If it's not causing the child any pain, we leave it alone. Because as time goes on, as puberty approaches, those adhesions will break up all by themselves. And when they break up, the smegma will disappear and the problem will be solved. Same thing in the circumcised male. And in fact, in a lot of circum uncircumcised, I'm sorry, in the uncircumcised male, uh, in a lot of uncircumcised males, this opening in the foreskin is so tight that it can't be retracted over the head of the penis. Per se, that is not a problem. That's called a physiologic phimosis. And in puberty, this opening stretches so that the foreskin becomes retractable. Uh, at the same time, those bands of adhesions break up, and so the problem is solved. Again, as long as it's painless, we leave it alone. If it becomes painful, we can fix it and probably should fix it because anything that hurts probably should be taken care of because humans should not walk around in pain and certainly shouldn't be left in fear of their genitalia. You know, is it going to hurt me so much today? So what we do is with gloved hands, we put gentle pressure on the glands or the tip of the penis and on the shaft right at the site of the uh, glands foreskin insertion and just pull those two apart and that'll open it back up and give us this look 
and um, then we get rid of the smegma, just wipe that away, and treat it with some Vaseline for a couple of days while things heal up to keep things from rejoining. And then we tell the parents, uh, when you change the baby's diaper a couple times a week, just provide that same gentle traction pulling this way and this way to keep things from sticking back together again and do that as long as they're in diapers and then when they're out of diapers the problem will be solved. Um, when we do a circumcision, if your child is circumcised, one of the first steps is to incise that foreskin and then to break up any adhesions that may be present with our fingers or with a probe um, giving you this look and all that's happened is those adhesions have reformed. In the case of the uncircumcised males, they're often present from birth and generally don't create any problems. Once in a while, they will trap some smegma, and once in a while, that will become painful. And again, if it's painful, you don't need a circumcision, but we should break up those adhesions um, so that you don't have this band of tissue here. You can still get rid of that and leave the foreskin intact and make things not hurt. Whoops. Whoops. Let me just kind of draw this back in my rough drawing wonderful artistic skills. Okay, so anyway, I hope this helps you to understand what's going on here. Uh, good news is this is not an infection. Many times when the parents see this, they're afraid there's an infection. And we see this about once a month or so. Uh, and it provides a lot, it's a major source of just distress for the parents. Um, but the good news is we can get rid of that problem very quickly for you. So I hope this has helped you to understand what's going on. I'm Dr. Kevin Windish. This is Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. If we can be of assistance here, give us a call at 359-7111. Please remember we can't help you over the telephone or over the internet. Have a nice day and good luck.